Hey there, Jumpanox here giving you a review on Graveyard Keeper, developed by Lazy Bear Games and published by Tiny Build. We're going to look into the mechanics, story, length of game, soundtrack, and graphics to see if this game is worth its $19.99 current asking price. Before getting into this video, I do want to remind you that this video was 100% subjective and I respect everyone's opinions on this game. If you think my statements in this video are wrong or if they differ from your own opinions, let me know in the comments section because I would love to hear what you guys think about this game. Let's start off with the soundtrack because I absolutely love it. With over 40 tracks in the game, created by artist Hamza Hamri, I think the soundtrack is very calming and relaxing. I often found myself pausing the game just to listen to the music. Hamza did a fantastic job in complementing the dark underlying tones in this game. Hamza also creates great music on SoundCloud and you guys should definitely go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next we'll look into the story. Graveyard Keeper is a simulation game with a very dark twist. In this game you play as a character who, after suffering a tragic event of being hit by a car, has been granted a new life as a graveyard keeper. The mysterious person that informs you of your accident states that the only way for you to get back to your girlfriend is to become a good graveyard keeper. In Graveyard Keeper you'll find yourself completing tasks given to you by the townsfolk in order to progress the story and unlock the mysteries of your current life. With characters like the Oblivious Innkeeper, the crazy hemp-selling hobo, and the mysterious scarred man, this game is pretty great with each NPC having their own unique personality. Next, we'll dive into the various mechanics of the game. If you've ever played other simulation games like Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, you'll recognize the mechanics such as fishing, building, farming, gathering, and conversing with the townsfolk. The game does have some unique mechanics such as its skill tree. The skill tree consists of seven categories, Anatomy and Alchemy, which are combined into one category, Theology, Book Writing, Farming and Nature, which is also combined into one category, Smithing, Building, and Cookery. All skills in the game except for Cookery can be unlocked by investing a specific amount of red, green, or blue experience points in order to learn each new skill. Cookery recipes can be learned from the NPCs within the game. Experience points are gained from performing various actions within the game, such as crafting, gathering, or researching items. The skill tree and all unlockable skills are a big focus of the game and all skill categories will eventually tie into each other. Another differentiating mechanic to this game is that there's no time limit to finish the requests within the game. Once you're given a task by the NPC, you can complete it as soon as possible or you can completely ignore the task, though you may not get very far in the story if you choose to ignore all tasks given to you. On to graphics. Graveyard Keeper is a 2D game that follows the pixelated style of Stardew Valley and the SNES Harvest Moon. The game does have quite a bit more detail though, as it utilizes a very nice cell shader effect. You'll find that the assets in the game give an aged appearance, such as broken down fences, moss growing on the stones, and dying trees. Lazy Bear did a fantastic job in really setting the mood and painting the story of the game with its asset creation. And lastly, length of gameplay. I ended up finishing the story at around 80 hours, and that was with me spending a lot of extra time exploring and crafting way too many things in a really inefficient manner. I didn't unlock every skill by the time I finished the game, and I'm positive it's very possible to get upwards of 100 hours out of this game. Now is this game worth the current retail value of $19.99? I believe so. Whether you're a fan of simulation games, if you're new to the genre, or if you're just looking for a game to sink your time into, this game is worth the money. I had a blast playing this game. It was a pretty good simulation game, and it was a great way for me to come home after work and just relax. I'm a huge fan of simulation games, and Graveyard Keeper brought in a few mechanics that I've always wanted within a game of this genre. I think the skill tree was a fantastic aspect, as well as I really did appreciate the fact that the game did not hold your hand. Lazy Bear Games expected you to figure out the game by playing, and this is where I would make a joke about how you should be dying to play this game. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to keep up with my upcoming reviews, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. I had a lot of fun with this review, and be sure to tell me your thoughts on Graveyard Keeper in the comments section below. Keep on gaming, and I'll see you in the next review.